When replacing a charger, you must choose a device that has a current rating that is no higher than the original. This misconception is probably due to the fact that current is often confused with voltage. Indeed, when you choose a power supply, you must ensure that it is, first of all, rated for the same voltage as the original. If it is lower, your device will be underpowered and most likely not start. And if it is higher, you risk damaging it. This rule, however, does not apply to current strength. Let's conduct a simple experiment. We have two USB chargers in front of us. The voltage, naturally, is 5 volts in both cases. But one charger is rated for a current of 1 amp, and the second is 1.5 amps. We will power the light bulb from these power supplies and observe the current value on the ammeter. So, when powered from a 1 amp unit, the current is set at 0.51 amps. What's going to happen if we connect the second 1.5 amp unit? As you can see, the ammeter displays the same 0.51 amps. How to explain this? And why the measured current strength does not correspond to that indicated on the charger? The fact is that the current does not depend on the power source, but on the load connected to it. It is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. On the other hand, the values indicated on the chargers are the maximum current that this device is capable of delivering. If the voltage and load are the same, the current will also be the same. This obvious conclusion follows from Ohm's law. I equals U divided by R, where U is voltage and R is resistance. Because both power supplies output the same voltage, the U's will be identical. R is the lamp's resistance. We got the same lamp, which means the resistance will also be the same in both cases. From this we can conclude that the current strength will also be the same. Your smartphone will behave exactly the same way.